What's up everybody, Jason Moss here, and in today's video, I wanna show you my all-time favorite tool for finding keyword search volume. If you run a SEO agency, um, an affiliate website, or like a YouTube channel, something like that, and you need to find uh, search volume for all these different keywords, this is the tool that you need, okay? Best of all, it's very easy to use, and it's not like a, a separate website that you have to go to or anything like that. It's all done live and while you are searching, okay? Now, this tool is called Keywords Everywhere, all right? And let me show you how it works. But before we do that, please smash that like button. You are gonna like this. Uh, consider subscribing, all right? I have videos like this all the time that show you all the best uh, tools like this, Chrome extensions, uh, website help, Facebook ads help, even Google My Business, a whole bunch of different things, okay? So let's jump into this real quick, all right? So like I said, this is called Keywords Everywhere. It is a Chrome extension, and it is also dirt cheap, okay? It used to be free. It used to be 100% free when they launched. It is now paid, but I'll show you. It's super duper cheap, all right? So basically, you can run this on Chrome, and you can run it on Firefox, I right now am running it on Ghost Browser, which is my favorite browser. It's built on Chromium, so it uses all the Chrome extensions that you want as well, okay? It works just like Chrome, it's just a lot faster, okay? So how does this thing work, okay? So if we go to Google, all right, and we search how to make a YouTube channel, you'll see underneath it shows up it shows the keyword search volume, the CPC for that uh, specific keyword, the competition level, and even, uh, what is this called? The, the trend data, okay? So it tells you how often it's being searched, okay? Over on the right-hand side, you can see this is their logo, and you can see this is all being generated. If you do not have this on, okay, none of this shows up, okay? So this is all extra data that you'll be seeing on every Google search that you do. Now, you'll see instantly, this is a big, big keyword. 33,000 people a month are searching for this. Um, you can also see on the right-hand side, the trend data. You can see right here where uh, you know the, the virus hit. Uh, a lot of people were searching for uh, how to search, excuse me, how to start the YouTube channel. And if we come on down, uh, long tail keywords, you can see it goes off your main keyword and shows you variations and suggestions on other things that might be helpful. And you can really find and uncover a whole lot of keywords and data that you might have never thought about before, okay? Um, and they, you can even click on this and you can go a little bit deeper um, and keep searching. Down below, it used to show it on here, but Google made an update, so now it doesn't really show down there anymore but that doesn't really matter because you have it over here. Now, if you're running like a YouTube channel like myself, all right, this is also very, very handy, okay? And huh, there's a there's Sal right there. If you've never watched Practical Jokers, that's one of the best comedy shows ever. Go watch it, all right? But let's, uh, let's go in here in the search. So let's try this, and we'll do how to start. And you can see it does it while you're typing, which is pretty dang awesome. It pulls all that keyword data and you can really find some good ideas. You can find some trends. You can find different uh, niches that you never thought existed by looking at uh, these different search volumes. Um, like podcasts are huge right now. 50,000 people a month are searching how to start a podcast. I mean, that's crazy. That's even more than the YouTube channel. Okay. So how to start a, uh, how to, let's see, how to build a Gaming PC, right there, 18,000. Um, so yeah, I mean, th this is just a lot of fun to use. Um, you can see all that keyword data, and on YouTube, it even shows you different insights. Um, it also shows you the trend data as well. All right, so let me show you how this works um, exactly, a little rundown of the uh, extension itself. So if you click on the Keywords Everywhere uh, extension over here, You'll see that you can toggle it on or off whenever you want to. Um, this works around the world, so you can do global results if you want to see everything. Um, you can do just Australia, Canada, India, New Zealand, South Africa, UK, and US. 
So you have a lot of different options right there. Um, if you're doing anything with local businesses, I mean, this is huge. Um, so you just, you know, if you're in the U.S. like myself, just put it on the United States and you can see all that local data uh, for searches. And you have a lot of different options, which some of these I haven't even messed with, like importing keywords and whatnot. Um, they keep updating this and keep adding it, um, adding features to it. I really just use the volume data. Um, you can run stats, um, invoices. Invoices is because this is now a paid tool, and I'll show you that here in a second. You can see that I am logged in, and you can see how many credits that you have left. So let's talk about the credits for a second. If you go to their website and then go over to the pricing tab, you'll notice that credits um, are 100,000 credits for 10 bucks. Okay, so how long does that last? Um, it lasts a long time. All right, I have an SEO agency. I have a YouTube channel. I am doing Google searches all the freaking time, all day long. And I'd say 100,000 credits a lot of times will last five or six months um it just depends but it, it doesn't go by quick it's not like a week or a month or even two months it lasts a very long time of course you know depending on how much usage you do but i search a lot and it lasts me a very long time so the price on it ridiculously cheap um hundred thousand credits for 10 bucks and you can always buy more i've only bought the 10 i think I've had this tool for like a couple of years and I've only spent, I think, 20 bucks on it or maybe 30 now. So it's very, very cheap. OK, so then your credits are automatically loaded and it just, you know, uses them up and you can always see that running tab. Now, you do have the option, OK, of turning off some of these. All right. So you can see. All right. You can run it just on this alone. Uh, just the volume for the keyword that you're searching or for the long tail keywords. Um, you can turn this off. So let me show you how that works here. Go up to, I think it's in settings. All right. And you'll notice you can pick where your data source is. All right. You can choose which options that you want to display. And then you can actually show how you want it to show up, you know, highlight the volume. CPC, you can do a lot of cool things with it. And then here, supported websites. Um, remember, this shows not just on Google and YouTube, but a lot of different spots. It'll show on your Bing search, Yahoo search, even Amazon. Um, if you're looking for products to sell, maybe if you're into that, that type of thing, eBay, Etsy, DuckDuckGo. I mean, all these different places, okay? And then here's how the credits um, work. So you can turn these off and on so you're not burning up credits um, if you find that you're going through some of them too quick. Um, so you can turn off like the trending widget, the long tail keywords, um, tags on YouTube. You can turn these off and on um, so you can save credits that way. All right. If you find that you're going through them too quickly. All right. Um, I leave them on because I like to see everything, uh, you know, that is searching and it just makes it fun. It, it really helps out. You can find a lot of different keywords that you never thought possible. Um, if you find like a video on YouTube and you're like, man, why does that have so many views? You know, maybe look at their keyword um, that you're they're using in the title or whatever the video is about. And maybe they have a huge amount of search volume for that keyword that you never knew existed. So that's how the Keywords Everywhere tool works. If this video was helpful, please smash that like button. It really, really helps the channel. Helps YouTube know that this was helpful and it shows it to a lot of people. Um, all you have to do is click that like button. It's very easy. Consider subscribing. I have videos like this all the time as well. Uh, but if you guys have questions, also leave it below. If it was helpful, just let me know. Say, hey man, this was very helpful. Those comments help quite a bit. Um, thanks guys for tuning in and I will see you next time.